Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> um, today I'm going to be updating you on my Fool's Journey journey. <laughs> um, I left off on the Emperor. Fred, stop. That didn't do anything because he's going to chew on it. Um, uh, again, I'm sorry in advance. So, <clears throat> um, I updated my grimoire book. I need to find a better solution for the label. But I left off on <laughs> the Hierophant is where I'm at. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, I'm going to chat about what I'm up to now. So I'm up to, I'm a few months behind as far as documentation, like video documentation. So I have done the Hierophant, Hierophant, however you want to pronounce that, the Lovers, <clears throat> the chariot and now I'm on strength um, so I'm not gonna do strength yet but so for the, the hierophant I remember it being uh, shadowy because I'm so sorry about the lines <laughs> So I have to have the window open because it's a million degrees in this apartment, even in the middle of February. Um, but so like the Hierophant is spiritual authority, leadership, tradition, institutions. So of course my brain immediately goes to the Catholic Church because that's what I was raised with. And uh, you think of priests and all of the... <laughs> Uh, lovely hypocrite hypocrisy <laughs> um, and just the horrible shit that goes on in those uh, organizations and like so Hierophant brought up a lot of the crap that's going on right now with the Christian nationalism shit that is starting to go on here in the United States. It has been for a while, but now it's really prominent in the politics and shit. Um, so I had a lot of feelings about the Hierophant. Um, I think... Um, by the, by the end of the month, I definitely, so this was in, uh, November, where the holidays were starting to amp up and Thanksgiving and all of this shit, and I did decide that I am my own spiritual leader. Um, I have that authority. I have um, given myself the sovereignty by breaking away from the church and this is this associating with the people who um, constantly were pushing that shit down my throat and all sorts of things. So I think that that's really important thing to note that eventually, um, like over the course of the month and meditating on the Hierophant, that it did occur to me that 
in order to continue my deconstruction of my Catholic upbringing, I need to also recognize recognize that um, I am my own spiritual sovereign person and I don't need to worry about that stuff anymore because I'm not a part of it anymore and I won't allow myself to be anymore. So that was November. Uh, moving on to December, which we're going to take a little pause here and I'll be right back. Okay, back. I like Killian's a lot. <laughs> it's one of my favorite beers. Um, anyway, uh, so December was the lovers. And I think we all pretty have a good idea of what the lovers means and what it is, but we're going to go over it anyway, because consistency or whatever. Partnership, union of opposites, choices, harmony, and cooperation. Um, let's see. Um, union has many meanings other than the male and female coupling or romantic relationship. Um, the representation of Eros, uh, son of Aphrodite, the Greek god, goddess of love and beauty, also known as Cupid in Roman mythology. It is his job to shoot arrows of love, considered a form of madness at unsuspecting youth. Thus, the Greeks often depicted Eros blindfolded to represent that love is blind, but Eros has another role to guide us toward our true destiny, which is to say, do what you love and everything else will follow naturally. I really like that um, in the, the book that I have, uh, which is the, I'm gonna butcher the name of it. Um, I think it's the com Complete Witchcraft Guide to tarot or something like that. It's by Sky Alexander. I personally like it. It's pretty comprehensive. Um, is it the most detailed um, tarot book out there? No, probably not, but I'm not a professional reader and I don't plan on ever being a professional reader. I do uh, like tarot a lot and will probably continue, continue my pursuit in like um, additional interpretations and stuff but you know for the basic knowledge and stuff like that I enjoy that one anyhow uh they throw in like she throws I actually don't even know if Sky Alexander is a man or a woman or non-binary or what but anyway so they um they say in this book that um like, they throw in, like, little tidbits and stuff, and I like that, um, depending on which card you're reading. But, so, oh, excuse me, the Lover's card <laughs> happened to pop up on an interesting month because um, <laughs> December was when I decided to go on Bumble, mainly because I had, up until this point, um, been isolating myself, um, like hardcore, because I was trying to cocoon and heal from my, um, that breakup that happened in February of 2022, and I was wallowing and getting to the point where I just didn't, it wasn't really a depression, but it was definitely grief, um, which I suppose could be considered depression. I really don't know um, what other people go through or feel when they are trying to heal. But honestly, I needed, and this is going to sound 
like I needed another human being to keep get my mind off of that relationship but I was more so I, I went on Bumble more so to find friendships and um, I think there's an inherent flaw with the system being that you can only go on Bumble date to find those of the opposite sex to be friends with which gives the wrong impression because everyone on there is like interested in dating so or finding a partner or whatever and I wasn't necessarily in the mood for that or like ready to entertain that yet but <clears throat> as it so happens I did so I did find a couple of friends on well on one in particular on uh, Bumble BFF and then I found this guy on Bumble Date, which um, turned out to be a lot. It's just, it's different. Um, it's nothing I've ever experienced before. It's a brand new dynamic. Um, It's just ironic that the lover's card happened to also be this month. I don't know if maybe that was my, kind of my subconscious telling me to like move on or whatever. Like I'm not, you know, if, if it, this doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's whatever you know things happen but at the same time this feels a lot more real than anything i've ever experienced before so i'm just kind of taking it one day at a time still um at this point it's been december Three, almost three months, you know, um, between, you know, talking and then actually declaring us dating. I mean, I haven't personally told anyone on my family because it's whatever. You guys, whoever watches me on the internet knows more than my family does right now because I don't really want anyone else involved. It's one of those things where um, the family always gets involved too quickly and then it's just a, a madhouse and um, I'm already very cagey about what I share with my family anymore anyhow. So I think for the time being, waiting is probably a good idea. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off topic. The lover's card. I just, you know, like, for example, um, uh, I don't know. I just, it's opened this particular card falling on this particular month opened my eyes to new possibilities and uh, finding an old soul like myself uh, has definitely helped um, uh, I just in the in the past I've felt lied to and so I don't feel that yet, and that's good. <laughs> so with that, um, we're going to move on to the chariot, which was January. Um, so controlling opposite forces, willpower, resolving conflict, and travel. Now, you know, the literal definition of travel 
I have, you know, I, I haven't done any traveling, <laughs> like, as far as, um, like, going camping, well, it's still winter, technically, so as far as, like, going to places outside of my immediate city, or, like, you know, Northeast Ohio, <laughs> um, type thing, I haven't done anything crazy or gone anywhere weird, but, um, um, you know, it's, the chariot energy was very, um, Steady, we'll say. Is that the word? Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of interesting because at this this point in the journey, I was kind of starting to look back on where I was when I started this fool's journey, mentally and emotionally. And um, you know, I think physically as well. I've, I've definitely put on some weight, I've noticed. Um, part of that's because I stopped doing so much yoga, um, but I've also actually been eating, <laughs> which I can't really say I was mu doing much of at the beginning of this journey, just because of all of the stress and anxiety and the tail end of coming out of, um, what you call it, um, survival mode. And then I was losing hair at a rapid rate because of all the stress that I was undergoing in the beginning of the 2022. And, you know, so I was, I've noticed a significant difference in my mental and emotional well-being from the beginning of this fool's journey to it was a good, it was, a, this is, I think, the six month mark. Give or take. Like, because I started on, I started this in July. And the chariot is the seventh card. Uh, maybe it's the eighth. No, July, August, September, December. Yeah. It's the six month mark. So I think as the chariot progressed to January, I was very much aware of how I had changed, how I had, my outlook on life had changed a lot. My outlook on, on the future and my career, my, internal monologue had changed a lot and the way I approached the both remote romantic relationship and family relationships um, <clears throat> has changed drastically and I yeah um, the end thing, the last thing I wrote before moving on to strength, which is this month, um, is forward motion is the key to moving on. And it's true because I think I had a bad habit of holding on to the past, of constantly wondering why. But I know why I was like that. Um, a lot of it has to do with the way I was raised, like my upbringing in my house with very emotionally unavailable parents and 
uh, unstable parents <laughs> and there are only a few happy memories that I even remember but uh, and then that kind of has kind of worked its way throughout my life and it's I've never been happy because I've never been in a position that that I wasn't like I wasn't thinking for myself I was always having people feed their own thoughts and ideas into my brain and that didn't align with anything that I wanted to do or think or feel so yeah, the chariot was an interesting and very eye-opening month. Um, not just with my co-workers and my family relationships, but my romantic relationship now. And how I'm viewing the future and even though everything is scary and unstable right now in this country uh, I'm trying to see hope for the future instead of existential dread constantly because that <laughs> it's just the millennial way I think um, so yeah that is that um, I will hopefully not have to do this again. I'll remember to do strengths at the end of the month, like I should have done with all these other ones. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry to fade here. I'm getting tired. It's about ready. It's about time for me to start hitting the hay. Um, I go to work early tomorrow. So, um, Sorry for all the ums, but that's that. I'll see you guys in the next video.